Rankin. Uh, let's go to that. How Luke Rankin became chairman of the judiciary. That's Larry Martin. He was a conservative Republican up in the upstate. Did any of y'all know or remember him? Different part of the state. Now, this is what's important. Larry was the chairman of the judiciary in the Senate. If Larry could get beat against his primary opponent, then guess who would become chairman of the judiciary by seniority? Luke Rankin. Right, David? Yes, very much so. And so, guess who poured in hundreds of thousands of dollars to make sure Larry Martin lost the primary? We'll read it to you. The Trial Lawyers Association spent more than $200,000 to defeat Larry Martin simply to install Luke Rankin as chairman of the judiciary. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think the Republican voters, Pastor Wagner, you're Republican, as a Republican voter, would you have liked to have known if the trial lawyers were trying to boot somebody out in your Republican primary? Yeah, we'd like to know. Wouldn't you like to know that? Yeah. Just as an aside, the president of the trial lawyers back then, or the immediate past president, was a guy by the name of Alec Murdoch. <laughs> and you can't make this stuff up, y'all. And all you can do is laugh at it sometimes, right? But wouldn't you like to know that the trial lawyer spent all that money? And of course he lost. And when he lost, um, Luke Rankin became chairman of the judiciary. And, and um, it was actually a Republican political consultant that also helped them take him out. But he became chairman of the judiciary because of that, that dark money. Oh, one, one point I want to really make. Rex Rice was, Alan, was Larry Martin's opponent. There is, and I need to say this, I think we'll be very responsible as the prosecutor in the corruption probe. There is no evidence that Rex Rice did anything wrong or anything criminal, and I want to point that out. I think I need to. We looked long and hard to see if he did anything wrong, and he was immaculate in that investigation. 